So what we're going to do today is threads, okay, or concurrency or whatever. Um, I don't know if V has any multiprocessing. You know, threads and multiprocessing aren't the same thing. But um, maybe we'll get into that later. But we're going to do threads today. All right. Um, if you look in here, uh, if you look in the documentation, right, you can come down to, all right, let me see what we got. Okay. Yeah, documentation, and then when you come down, you get concurrency right here. Let me move that up a little bit. Concurrency, and you can learn from these patterns right here. And I've got a couple extra ones that I threw in there. You know, um, because it's so, because it's so, uh, because V is so close to Go or so similar to Go. It, um, you know, I, I use some patterns from Go, okay? All right, and uh, then you can go into it's the GitHub right here, V, examples, concurrency. And this will help you out here too, all right? So here's just the V lang V, all right, and examples right here. Then we go down to concurrency, where the hell is concurrency? Okay, here we go. Concurrency, you get everything you need right here. Okay, all right. I'm not gonna write all this code again. I'm gonna just explain it. And uh, okay, so the first one we're gonna go through is um, a producer and a consumer thread. Okay, so what this this uh, thread is gonna do? Hold on, let me clear this out. What this thread is gonna do? is it's going to uh, forever it's going to print out 30 okay so we're going to make a variable i here and then we're going to full for loop this is a forever for loop okay and it's going to just keep throwing 30 onto a a channel a channel is a way is is basically a mechanism for um for threads to communicate okay so what's going to happen is it's going to go, it's going to throw this onto the channel, and then this consumer thread is going to pick up the channel, right? And then it's going to print it out here. Okay, so let's run it. Okay, so v producer consumer dot v. All right, so so this is going to run forever until I press Control C or stop it, but it's just going to print out thirty forever. Okay print out 30 forever until the end of time or until I run out of memory or whatever, right? Okay. That's useful if you have like some long running process in the background and maybe you have a GUI in the front, you know, you can communicate with that, okay? All right. Now we'll go through the next one and this is a uh, this is shared, okay? You're going to have to import the sync module, right? Cuz I tried to do this before without that and it didn't work, right? All right, so what you're going to do is create a shared variable. What we're trying to do is here is we're going to take a piece of data, uh, which is um, which is this number or this integer i. You'll see this here. This is the integer wrapper and this integer i, okay? And we're in this case, we're going to make this i a 25, right? And what we're going to do is create a sync weight group or a weight group, right? And then what a weight group does is it makes sure make sure that all of the functions are done or all of the the uh, all of the um, functions in the weight group are done before it it you know goes to the next thing so it's going to make sure all of these are done and then it's going to do this right here right so um, basically what this is going to do is this is going to take going to take whatever's in here and it's going to add 10 to it so this is what you're doing here is you're sharing this piece of data right here this i is going to get um, is going to get changed throughout all of these functions. So it says it's going to add 10, right? So it should be 20, 30, 40, 55. Okay. So let's see what we got here. V shared. V. Okay. I'm just compile. These are already compiled because I already did this. But I'm just doing it so you can see that they're so 65 okay four okay so it'll go 
55, 55, 55, 65. Okay, I, I was wrong on that room, right? But yeah, this makes sense. That's how that works, right? Okay, and this is for sharing a piece of data. I'll put this up either on GitLab or GitHub, and I'll put it under the video. All right. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a thread communication, right? All right. Uh, All right, let me let me take a look at this right here. I don't know what I was thinking in this one, all right? Thread communication, com thread. Oh well, this is this is basically this is basically the same thing as producer to consumer, right here, and uh, producer to consumer, but it's going to take more threads in, right? And something interesting about this time dot sleep thing, usually it's in milliseconds, but this is in nanoseconds. So nanoseconds are, I believe, one billionth of a second. So you have to put one billion in here in order to get this to sleep for a second. You know, okay, so basically what this, this thread is going to end up doing, it's going to print out a three, or it's going to send a three to the channel first. This is going to run forever here, right? And, uh... Anytime it receives anything on the channel, it's just going to print it out, right? So it's going to print out a three first. So we're going to see that, you know, um, we're going to see that to make to, to see that the thread starts, and then it's going to print out the start. Uh, uh, it's going to keep it's going to keep printing until it uh, finishes, you know, until from this integer to this integer. So it's going to be one hundred. It'll print out one hundred through one fifteen, ten through twenty five. 35 through 75, right? And these are all going to run, you know, uh, concurrently. And they're just going to, this is uh, multiple producer. This pattern is multiple producer, single consumer right here, right? And that's if you have, you know, a lot of long running processes in, and you just needed to come down to, you know, output the data after it's done. You know, not after it's done or while it's running, right? So let's, uh, let's run that. Uh, so V thread com dot v okay so that runs oh okay so it's going to sleep for one it's going to sleep for this one second and then you know it's only going to run one time right but we see okay three prints out so we know this comes out the first one that you know that's the first thing that's going to print three so what happens is this one through 115 starts and then it only gets up to 104 and then three again so this is going to start then it starts this third thread right here you don't, you don't have any control in which order it starts it, it, it prints out with this particular pattern right and then you see three again, right, from here, three. And then it's going to start printing out this one, right? And you can see that they're all they're all being interrupted because it's going 10, 11, 37, you know, it's going to come from here. And it's, it, all of these are running at the same time, and it's just consuming it right here, right? Okay, so that's pretty much for that pattern right there, right? All right, but it's going gonna, it's gonna, to, you know, because this runs forever, but, you know, the data runs out, it's just gonna sit there and hang out, you know. So we're gonna control C that. All right, and then okay, what was this two thread? I don't remember what I was trying to do with this one right here, right? All right, channel. There you go. All right. Yeah, this is another. Um, this is like a. This, this is another producer consumer thread thing right here right all right so what we're gonna do here is it's gonna create uh, we're gonna create a, a an integer it's gonna be integer zero and then it's going to send it on to the channel and then channel okay channel integer okay So, okay, so if this equals five, all right, it's going to run this function. Where does it increment, though? 
let me see what the output is of this because I wrote this a while ago. Uh, two, you know, let me just because I can run it. Two thread. So twenty five, twenty five, twenty five. Okay, all right. It just makes sure this function this function runs a certain amount of times, all right? So it's gonna make sure that this runs one, two, three, four, five times, okay? So what's gonna happen is it's gonna run this, right? And it's gonna run it forever, okay? And only it's only going to stop. This is like in Rust the the loop method, right? And if if the incrementer, which it increments every time, um, if it equals to five, it closes and it breaks the loop, so it ends the ends the function. But as long as it's less than six, it's gonna it's gonna print. Um, yeah, so actually this is producing right here, and this is consuming. So as long as it's less than less than six, as long as this increment value is less than six, it's gonna send L, which is twenty-five, onto the channel, right? This is gonna consume the channel right here, right? And it's gonna print it put it into the variable I and then print it out. Okay? And that's why we're getting because L is twenty-five. And it's going to send it up to five times, and uh, and it'll print it out. Okay, so it's basically a consumer, uh, pr producer consumer. Okay, and there's another way to do a weight group. Okay, all right. So we'll go to this thread pool. All right. So and this is actually the example. This is actually the best example that they put on there. Right on on. Uh, on a VLANG site or whatever, right? Okay, so we're gonna import time, right? And you know, to make it sleep, you know, to make the program, the thread stop for one second, you have to do one billionth of a second because it's nanoseconds. Other languages, it's usually milliseconds, right? But I guess they wanted to be super, super precise. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're gonna print this out and we're gonna print out the number that I, I provide here. And it's gonna sleep one second, and this sleep allows the you know it says okay this thread is sleeping go to the next one, this thread is sleeping go to the next one. So it's gonna do this five times, and then it's gonna you know because we're gonna create an array of threads, and it's gonna send each one to this this thread pool right here, and then it'll wait all the way to you know once it gets once all of the threads are finished. Uh, then it will print this out. This is what this weight does right here too. It's kind of like a weight group. Um, there is a there, there was one that I did that was a weight group. I think it's the next one that I'm going to go through, right? So this is basically the same way to do the same. This is the different way to do the same thing. So let's uh, let's go with thread pool. Pool. Okay. See and you see. It just let all of them go, and it slept in one second. You know, these are all running concurrently at the same, basically the same time, okay? So, and last but not least, I believe this is the weight group one right here, right? No, where's the one with the weight group? Then thread communication. Hmm, I had one that had a weight group in there. Was it the shared one? Oh, yeah, I guess we, I guess we did this one. Yeah, we did this one, okay. All right, I, I lost uh, lost track of that. Okay, so that's going to be it for threads. Um, not sure what, gonna, what the next video is going to be. Um, but we'll just keep this pushing. So uh, thank you for your time and attention.